years of construction and 2.7 billion rand later, Standard Bank's new office at 30 Baker Street in Rosebank, Johannesburg is up and running. It's a mind-boggling amount of money, even if it is a modern office building for 5,000 staff, featuring art by top South African artists and a piazza open to the public. We took a walkabout in the building and spoke to Marco Cianfanelli, one of South Africa's most celebrated sculptors, whose work takes pride of place in the foyer. Your artwork seems to um, always be in a state of flux. Um, wherever one is, one sees something new and one has a, a kind of an, an experience of engaging with it in a new way because it moves um, through space and it moves through time. So what is the concept behind what seems to be the map of Africa behind us? Well, it's interesting that you speak of, of a kind of kineticism because that was part of the brief to make a, a kinetic sculpture and this sculpture didn't end up being kinetic and, and it rather uses techniques that I have uh, incorporated in a lot of my work where the sculpture transforms through the viewer moving around it. The, the idea was to look at the concepts of, of growth which led me to think of Africa as, as, a, as a seed. So the brief was to come up with a sculpture that was made of sustainable uh, materials that maybe had a, a skills development uh, aspect to it. It's made up of these plywood panels that have been uh, pigmented with um, sand that's been collected from regions around Africa where the, where the bank is um, uh, present and then also other wood pigments so that you've got this idea of earth and um, soil and uh, wood uh, referring to a, the growth of a tree. The building has been lauded for having achieved a five-star design rating by the Green Building Council of South Africa. The media is saying that there are some very green elements about this building and I suppose that's also so, uh, quite an important feature of buildings now uh, that they should be environmentally sound. The uh, executive um, tasked us and said that the environmental sustainability of this building must reach a corporate responsible level. So for example, we have a what we call a tri-gen facility in our basement, which provides one megawatt of electrical power, bearing in mind that our total power consumption in this building is about six megawatts. So the tri-generation provides us with power, it provides us with cooling, and it provides us with heating. So at night when we're running this building, we're running it off the tri-generation system, which is powered by gas. We do a lot of rainwater harvesting, so during the rainy seasons we save water that comes in off, off, the, off the building and off the paved areas and uh, keep that and we use that to, to water our gardens with or the piazza area with. It's close to car trains, so we're looking at um, transport and how our staff get to work, um, not everybody coming in their own cars, etc. So those are the major features. Tell us what it is that people do in this building, because people look from the outside, they see a whole lot of activity, but nobody knows what's really going on. <laughs> this is a further extension of what we're calling our head office campus. We've put our client-facing entities into this building to be close to um, their customer base, which is generally out in the Santon and northern suburbs area, but at the same time not being too far away from the CBD, where we also have a, have a strong customer base, and also the southern areas of Johannesburg.